When disaster strikes, having a sturdy shelter can mean the difference between safety and catastrophe. Whether you're preparing for hurricanes, tornadoes, nuclear fallout, or potential threats from others, these 10 shelter types are realistic, effective, and feasible to construct. And since it's hurricane season, for those who are interested, I'll put a link to this in the description for a hurricane preparation video. Concrete block shelters. Concrete blocks are a go-to for sturdy, durable construction. They provide excellent protection against hurricanes and tornadoes. A small, windowless, bunker-style layout is ideal, with reinforced steel bars for added strength against debris and high winds. Earth bag shelters. Utilizing sacks filled with soil, sand, or gravel, earth bag shelters are an economical and robust option. They offer significant resistance to natural disasters and can be constructed in a dome shape for optimal structural integrity. Shipping container bunkers. These steel containers can be buried underground or used above ground with additional fortifications like earth berms. They're strong against high winds and they can be modified to be blast resistant for nuclear scenarios. Root cellars. Often used for storing food, a well-built root cellar can double as a tornado shelter. By digging into the ground and using reinforced concrete or stone, these can provide a safe place during severe storms. Sandbag bunkers. Similar to earth bags, but smaller in scale, sandbags can be used to create highly effective defensive positions and shelters. They're especially good at absorbing shock waves from explosions, making them suitable for conflict zones or areas prone to bombings. ICF, or insulated concrete forms. These blocks or panels made from foam insulation are stacked, then filled with reinforced concrete. They offer excellent thermal insulation and they're incredibly strong, which is ideal for withstanding tornadoes and hurricanes. Berm shelters. Partially buried in the earth, then with soil planted against the walls, berm shelters are excellent for thermal insulation and protection. They blend into the environment, providing concealment from marauders while protecting against natural disasters. Basement bunkers. Reinforcing an existing basement with concrete walls and a steel door can provide a quick and effective shelter against tornadoes and potential home invasions. Just be sure there are no windows or provide additional steel shutters if you have them. Culvert bunkers. Large concrete or metal culverts can be buried and converted into shelter. They're capable of withstanding substantial loads, making them excellent for underground bunkers that need to resist soil pressure and potential blasts. Hardened structures with reinforced windows and doors. Sometimes reinforcing your current home is just the best option. Adding storm shutters, reinforced doors, and impact-resistant windows can turn your residence into a fortress against a variety of threats. Now, for those of you like me who live in areas with very high water tables, digging into the ground deeply enough for some of these options is just not possible. So creating a hybrid of one of these designs would be your best bet. Using the idea of a concrete bunker, but having only part of it underground would work. As an example, I can dig about two feet down before I hit water that doesn't seep back out of the hole. If you have a similar situation, here's a suggested solution. Measure out the space you are wanting to create, and then dig down into the earth far enough that you are still above the water table. Any water you encounter should seep away and doesn't stay in the dug ground. And start by laying a strong, waterproof foundation. A waterproof membrane applied to the foundation and the walls will keep out moisture. Polyethylene sheeting or liquid rubber both work well. Build the walls of your shelter so they're strong enough to withstand the pressure of the packed earth you're going to place around it. Cinder blocks filled with concrete and rebar will be more than durable enough. Be sure to offset the cinder blocks. Don't just stack them on top of each other or they'll fall over. Once your structure is built and waterproofed, backfill the excavated dirt against the shelter. 
Be sure to shape the soil away from the shelter to reduce water buildup. And you might want to consider adding a French drain or another drainage system under that backfill dirt to redirect any water away from the shelter. Have your drainage system slope away from the shelter and be sure your system channels any water far enough away. Build your entrance above ground level to keep water out and put steps in down to the shelter space itself. Frequently inspect the shelter inside and out for any water intrusion that might need to be addressed. Each of these shelters offers specific advantages depending on the disaster scenario you're preparing for. Assess your local risks, your available resources, and personal skills when choosing the right type of shelter to build. Remember, the best shelter is the one that is ready before you ever need it.